Good evening. Well, we have just to the lesson 13. So it means that we are going to complete this coming week on Tuesday. We complete the third week and then we're going for the last one, right? So. We have to be ready because we are a little bit more than the half of the course. What is the objective that we have for today's class? Well, we are going to be working with emails because the main goal though for this class is that you have to be ready, you have to be able to prepare, write, and articulate short professional emails for business purposes. The vocabulary that we are going to study is based on um, formal well, we are going to see formal, semi-formal, and informal, right? Some expressions, not all of them. Because if we're talking about uh, business, we need to understand that the vocabulary that we are going to use in there, it has to be formal. Informal means using Avoid using uh, contractions. We don't use them whenever when when we read and if we when we write and if we are writing in a formal way, we don't use contractions. Okay. Now let's see. I have the first question that we, the one that we have in our books. Well, I do have it here, and the first question is. Do you send emails every day? Should emails be brief or long? Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Okay, so we have three questions. To the first one, we are eight, seven in this moment. We are seven, and then um, I would like to know if you send messages or emails every day. Do you do it? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. Now the second question: Should them to be short or long? But should the emails be brief or long? Short or long? Brief. Brief. Short. The third one. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Maybe not in this moment, right? But at the end of this class, we will get this point. Good. Let's see. In here we have uh, some uh, general uh, instructions about emails. The first one says, 
Do not use capitals. Avoid using the subject important. Use a formal salutation. Be brief. Express clearly why you're writing. Do not use abbreviation. Do not use smileys. Which of these tips do you follow? Which of these tips do you follow? None? Some of them? Mm -hmm. Which ones? These are some tips. Do you know why a tip is not to use capital? Do you know the reason? Yes or no? Hoy sí me siento sola. Hoy siento que estoy aquí um, dando yeah. una presentación nada más. I think that I am not in class. Teacher, me don't know how to use the capital. Um, this is um, uh, solo cuando es um, el nombre propio de una persona, entonces ya yeah, capital. Is, But yeah. why? What is the reason? What um, is my... the reason for not using capitals? Because it sounds uh, rude. It sounds rude? Como, ay, se me olvidó cómo decía gritar. Okay, shout, okay? Shout. Okay, like if you were shouting. Yes. Yes. So we need to avoid shouting, but it, it, since you are writing, The only resource that you have is your vocabulary. When we are speaking, you can raise or not your voice. But when we are writing, we need to look for different strategies to communicate with the other ones. And that's why it says, do not use all capitals, all capitals. Maybe the first letter, yes, because we, we use the initial capital letter. But no, all of them like this one. All of them in capital letters. Why? Because it sounds like if you are shouting. That is the representation for you to shout. So. La próxima vez que quiera gritar de manera escrito, ¿cómo lo va a hacer? Using capital letters. Using capital letters. That is the strategy that we have when we're writing. Okay. So this is the first one. Then we have uh, avoid using the subject important. Why do you think this is a tip? Avoid using the subject important. Maybe, maybe when you write um, the name of Amy. You better, you better use the name of or, or the reason why you are writing the subject. But when you write important, sometimes, it's important. sometimes it is not something objective because maybe it is important for you, but for the other person, it is not important or the other way around. 
right? So you better write the subject, the one that it is the correct one, right? Another one, use a formal salutation. Formal salutation. Why? Because sometimes we just avoid salutations and we don't use them, right? Even though it is an email, we need to include salutations. And then another tip. Be brief. Brief. Do not extend too much. You need to have the ideas very clear. And if you have your ideas very clear, I think that you will be really brief. Another one. Express clearly why you are writing. So it means that you need to know perfectly the reason for you to write down that email, right? You need to know it. Then we have, do not use abbreviation. What I was telling you. Por qué no dice de que no debemos utilizar abbreviations? What do you think? Because abbreviations are used in informal language. But in this case, we are going to write down the emails and they represent formal. All the information that you are going to write down in there will be something formal. Teacher, uh, uh, neither we can use the abbreviations of profession? Oh, no, of course. You can use abbreviation for uh, professions, for example, uh, doctor or me for titles. You can use abbreviation, okay. right? The ones that we cannot use is, for example, whenever we say she's, I am, or we say I'm, we're, we need to write down I am, she is, they are. In those cases, in those situations, we are not going to use abbreviations, right? Okay. And do not use smiles. What is this? <laughs> what is smiles? Emoticons. Okay. All those have, have faces that we used to 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 show, right? If you're smiling, if you are angry, if you are laughing, we represent it through uh -huh, through different like drawings. Okay, so those are the smiles. So you don't use them whenever we are writing an email. That is something. Formal. So we should not using them, right? Now let's see. Since we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tips for writing emails, I want you to look for three more tips, three more tips to this ones, which can be three more uh, tips for writing emails. 
Okay. Look for three more, only three more. But I'm going to, let me see. Vamos a ver cuántos oyentes tenemos ahora. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Kering. Alma. Chicos, and I have a question. Todos los oyentes, yo estoy viendo que son los mismos casi siempre. ¿Será que va a haber un día o, o es que se han inscrito para toda la clase para ser oyente toda la, todo el módulo? Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Yo estoy de oyente esa semana porque estoy en parciales, por eso. Okay. Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Si se ha fijado, yo últimamente me he puesto también de oyente. Yo no soy de oyente. Es porque yo estoy cerrando los proyectos que tenía a mi cargo y prácticamente estoy trabajando en informes mensuales y es un dolor de cabeza. Créame que es, a pesar que estoy de oyente, a veces le participo. Yes. Porque no me gusta, pero ahorita el trabajo sí me está exigiendo mucho tiempo y no estoy dando gasto. Las disculpas okay. del caso. Okay. Yes. Y por eso me tomo el tiempo de aclararle. Y ok. okay. Presta atención, <ríe> entiendo su molestia, pero ahorita sí yo la No, 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 no es molestia. I'm asking you. Porque hay okay, quienes okay. sí los estoy viendo que nunca me participan. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Yo puedo okay. ver algunos nombres acá que nunca han participado. Entonces. Si me interesa saber es que se han registrado al curso solo como oyente totalmente, ¿verdad? Sí, Porque eh, sí, este, no, 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 no los he incluido a trabajar y no los he escuchado trabajar en todo el módulo. ¿Okay? Yo soy de oyente, teacher, pero puedo trabajar en, en sala. Ok. Hola, teacher. Yo la verdad es que como primera vez, segunda vez que estoy de oyente, pero porque estoy terminando un reporte del trabajo, pero sí, todos los días estoy en clase. Ok. Ok, Valerie. Gracias. Ok. Me gustaría escuchar, por ejemplo, a Alma Brendalí. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Porque Alma Brendalí sí no la he escuchado. Wilmer. Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Comentarle que sí he estado ahorita prácticamente oyendo por la semana pasada, fue por condiciones de salud, pues y esta semana por temas laborales, que tengo una sobrecarga ahorita, que me ausenté también por el mismo tema. Y estoy tratando de ponerme al día. Sí estoy escuchando, pero a mí me voy a estar trabajando con algunos pendientes que tengo aún en planta. Sí, porque de los que están conectados, la mitad está de oyente y la mitad no, ¿ok? Entonces, necesito que vean eso también, ¿ok? Ok, guys. So, we are going to continue. We have this. Sorry, que casi no leo aquí. Me cuesta. Eh. Veamos. Yes. Okay, teacher, today if you listen to me. Yes, I can. Yeah, I hear Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, I can listen to you. Okay, let's see. I'm going to uh let me see. We are going to work in one single room. In one single room, I want you to think about three more tips for writing an email. Okay? Let us go and talk just for a while.
gmail.com va. Ah, entonces, eso me imagino que puede ser uno. Y la, la vas a escribir ahí en el... Solo pongo form, formal email address, nada más, ¿verdad? No es necesario el ejemplo. Eh, no, 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 creo que solo dijo tres tips, así como estaba en el cuadrito. Ah, va, chivo, a de la Yo mano. creo que los podemos explicar ya cuando... Ah, no, también. ¿Me imagino? Ah. Ajá. Yo, deberíamos, yo... deberíamos de ponernos de acuerdo y decidir tres, como son tres entre todos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uy, Uy, los los tres y ya. ya. ¿Cómo? Listo. De momento tenemos una que es este, que sea un nombre formal. Eh, algo otra es como. La otra podría ser a mi verba, como en los trabajos hay grupos de WhatsApp, sería parecida a la que él dice. Eh, que en, en algunos, digamos, cuando usted quiere buscar en los grupos, digamos, a alguien en específico que tiene nombre como un bebecita, no sé qué. Es como o sea, parecido a la que estaba de... Pero... Okay, guys, ready, ready for the three more tips. Okay, guys, now let us see the three more tips that you have, the ones that you have already discussed. I'm all ears. From a uh, formal email address? Yes. The contact information. But the three more tips, which are those? Let, no. Number one, formal email address. Second. Yeah. Uh, so the Can contact you repeat? information. Can you repeat number one? Formal email address. For example, formal email address. I know I didn't. I didn't understand. Now I understand. Okay. Okay. Like the username, right? The way that you write down your emails. Yes. For example, I cannot be badboy at gmail dot com. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and it happens. It happens, right? <laughs> and, and they are not like academic. And uh, all of a sudden, you have all the emails from your students. And you don't have any idea about who that person is because 
It, it is not um, a formal username, that one that you have used. Okay, good. That is the first one. The second one? The, the contact information is uh, very important for for um, for the res la respuesta. The answer? Uh, yes, the, the answer. Uh, okay. So the contacts. Okay. And number three? Don't forward strings. Can you repeat? Don't forward strings. <gasps> I don't get it. <laughs> no reenviar cadenas. Do not forward. Oh my God. Oh yes. <laughs> well, I think that nowadays it doesn't happen um, that frequently. But at the beginning, I remember a long time ago, I'm talking about 17 years ago, when I started in a job, well, uh, we got the first email. Everyone was sharing those messages, right? And then I really hated them. Nowadays, we don't have that, I think, too much. But before, a long time ago, yes, it usually happened. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, good. Uh, now let's what did I share the book or the presentation okay this is the one Okay, now we have added and now we have a conversation. We are going to practice this pronunciation today. Let's see, we have Amanda Lewis, Amanda and Lewis. Okay, Amanda will be Elsa and Lewis will be Jose Adilson. Jose Adilson? Okay. Okay. Already. Good. Okay. Elsa and Adilson. Go ahead. Read it. Okay. Uh, do you often send email? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in a business email? No, it is professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, good, good. So we have, it is appropriate, appropriate, appropriate abbreviations. And then Luis, uh, Jose Adilson said, no, it is not professional. Okay, it is not professionals. Okay, now let us listen to Jessica Carolina Rodriguez and also to uh, Moses. I am ready. Jessica? Ready. Okay, ready. Go ahead. <clears throat> do you often send e emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use an abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you, Moses and <coughs> Jessica. Okay, let's see, let's check. I cannot think. Okay, effective, effective, effective mails, right? 
And this one, use, 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 okay? Use abbreviations in business email. Okay, good. And the last volunteers for reading these conversations are, let me see, Osvaldo. Okay. And... Uh, <clears throat> Kenya, Stephanie Fuentes. Okay. Do you often say emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Would you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Share. Could you share? Share. Could you share. Share. Okay. Share. Okay. Okay, sure. Thank you. And then again, I'm emphasizing this. Appropriate. 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 Las dos van a ser. Pra, pra, pra. Appropriate. It is not appropriate. It is not okay. like that. It is appropriate. Okay. Teacher, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Escuché que me mencionó, eh, solo medio le voy a explicar. Fíjese que lamentablemente en este curso no he podido estar, he, he podido estar solo de oyente debido a que he salido tarde y vengo casi siempre en moto. Entonces, oh me he estacionado aquí un ratito nada más para explicarle, ¿verdad? Los motivos. Ok, sí pregunto, Alma, porque sí nunca me ha participado. Sí. E, e incluso para la lista tampoco me contesta. Y ahí sí, no sé Como si vamos comento, a tener Como vengo problemas. manejando, no puedo estar contestando. Sí, no, por eso. Ahora que me dice que viene en moto, pues eh, comprendo. El problema es para los chicos que van a revisar los videos. Para, porque pasan la lista. Ellos revisan todos los videos para ver si todos han abierto la cámara. Entonces, en ese sentido es que por mí no hay problema. Es decir, créanme que por mí, si, si todos se ponen de oyentes, yo doy mi clase. El problema es que su asistencia cuenta. Y, y, y la ven a diario los chicos ya, pero los que manejan el... el el, el sistema con los que les envía Zoom, porque Zoom le envía cuánto, cuántos minutos ustedes están conectados y ellos corroboran si ustedes están activos. Entonces, por eso es mi insistencia, ¿verdad? No es porque yo quiera molestarlos, simplemente es para que no vayan a tener dificultades al final del curso. Eso es lo único. Por mí, no problem at all. Right? Así que, no, yo sí entiendo eso, cómo va a estar contestando, ¿verdad? Pero, este, maybe, maybe the ones that are checking this about your attendance, they are going to have another point of view, right? So, that is the only reason for me to ask. Okay, guys. Now, let's. The, the other ones. Now that we have checked the pronunciation, we have seen that we are talking about the emails. And of course that we have more tips to follow and to write down the emails. And here we have eight more tips. But not only the tips, we have here uh, some examples how to use it. Okay, now let's start. When we're writing, even in Spanish, this is a little bit difficult. How to write down letters before they were kind of difficult, right? And now, uh, the vocabulary that we are using for sending emails, it is similar to the vocabulary that we had to use to send letters. 
¿Alguno de ustedes envió le, eh, cartas todavía? ¿Alguno de ustedes ha enviado cartas formales a trabajos? ¿Todavía lo sí. hizo? ¿O you yes. did? No. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. Most, most of you, most of you haven't had the opportunity or didn't have the opportunity to send uh, this kind of letters. Pero sí se parece mucho el vocabulario to the um, emails. The difference is just the mean of sending this message. Before, we used to do it through paper, right? Nowadays, we don't use it um, using paper. We just uh, do it... Um, How can I say it? In online uh, apps or uh, different ways that we have media, online media, right? That we have. But the vocabulary that we have here for number one in this tip is greetings. Greetings. Remember salutations? Ayer estaban dándole un consejo a alguien que decía que no saludaba when the as she sent uh, messages. Don't you remember that? And my, my assistant. Uh, okay, my assistant, okay? It says that my assistant, okay, that sent uh, include salutations. So this is related to that because we need to greet, but since it is something formal, we need to do it through this using this vocabulary for example dear sir or madame or cuando no sabemos a quién va dirigida esa ese correo in this case we use to whom it may concern to whom it may concern This is the famous phrase, ¿cuál es? A quien, a quien interese. Okay, that's it. A quien interese. Because you don't know the exact person, the name, um, the, that you have to send it. And that's why in Spanish we use what she said. In English, this is uh, the way. To whom it may concern. Right? And then we have, um, this is in a general way, very formal, because you use sir or madame. But also you can use uh, titles, right? Here I need, we say Mr. or Ms. Jones. This is what I was telling you, uh, LC, right? For titles, you can use this abbreviations, right? You can say Mr. or Ms right? Because we use abbreviations, but not contractions. But this abbreviation, yes. And also Dr. Smith, right? So these different ways are the ones that opened the emailed. Eso es lo primero that you have to write down. Después, We are going to include more vocabulary. Let's see. This is just for greeting. This is number one. And then we have another that it is related to reasons for writing or replying, right? For example, this is a vocabulary that we are going to use When you reply, and then you say reasons for writing or replying, and then you're saying, Dear Mrs. or Mrs. Johnson, I'm writing um, se fijaron que dije I'm writing, pero aquí no dice I'm writing. ¿Cómo dice? I am. I am writing. 
And it happens that when we are speaking, we contract. And then that's what I'm saying, um. But in your emails, we are not going to use those contractions. So I'm going to say, I am writing, para qué? To make a reservation, to apply for a position of, to confirm my booking, to ask for further information about, y aquí van, because we are going to continue the ideas, right? But this is the way that we need or we can use whenever we want to give a reason for you to answer the email. So this is number two, reasons for writing or replying. Then we have number three, more vocabulary. Number three, we have making a request, asking for information. Okay. Now, ya sabemos que es un request or asking for information. And then I'm going to say, could you please let me know if you can attend Vanishing, okay, vanishing pen, better. Could you please let me know if you are available for a meeting on the December the 12th? Could you possibly arrange a meeting with the logistic manager? And then we have, I would also like to know if there are any swimming pools in your area. You want to know, you need more information about something, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let us continue. You should, you should take in. You should take in attendance. Ah, the attendance. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Thank you. You see? Siempre digo a las ocho y media. And not, it is more than 8.30, but we are on time. Thank you. Okay, so we finish with this, and then we continue with number four after the attendance. Okay? Hasta ahora que veo a Mouse sin gorra. Ah, no, si la tiene puesta. <laughs> I thought you didn't have your cap. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to look for the attendance. Yo tengo muchas canas, teacher. Y eso le preocupa. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Okay, let's see. I'm going to. Attendance. Okay, listos por favor con su camarita, please. Okay, Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. 
Gilberto Lazo Funes. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Hoy no he visto a Jennifer. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present, teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elizabeth Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. ¿Qué se hizo Kerin? Por ahí estaba. Ok. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Ok. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Y Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. Ok. Thank you. Now we're going to continue with the next tip. The following tip. Well, this is number three. Then we have more. When you are offering help or you are sending the message, right? Because you are giving more information about something. That's why we have, uh, and then we say, hey, we are happy to let you know that your article has been selected for publication. I am glad to inform you that we will hold in or annual conference in Brussels in on let's see I cannot read it on September the twentieth, two thousand and twenty-three. And then, should you need any further information or assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us. What is the meaning of hesitate? Do that. Okay. Okay, that is. Thank you. Number five. For complaining. Okay. In this case, you are not helping. In this case, you are complaining about something. Okay, we have. I am writing to express my the satisfaction with or I am writing to complain about go straight with the aspects that you do not like right because these are your complaints then we have I regret to say that I was not completely satisfied with the room you provided us. Maybe you are thinking about a hotel because you are on vacation and then your room is not what you expected to be. And so that's why you're saying that mm, 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 I'm not completely satisfied with the room you provided us. 
And finally, we have, I would like to receive a full refund and compensation for the damages. All of them are complaints. All of them. Ya van a ir a escribir uno a ustedes, okay? Next. Sorry, es que ya no veo ni la flechita. Okay, ahí estamos. And the finally, we have the last one. Así como abrimos el, el correo with greetings, with salutations, now we are going to end it. We are going to close your email. There are different ways in which you can do it. And these are some of them. Okay, you're going to say to look forward to hearing you from, to hear from you, and then you continue. Or in the end, then you say yours faithfully. But you're going to say yours faithfully when you start with dear sir or dear madam. In this case, you can use this. Or you can use yours sincerely when you start with the name their Miss Colleagues or when you use the titles, right? In this case, well, you can say yours sincerely or to just write sincerely, right? And no more. That is the only way that you're going to do it. So we have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different ways for you to have a better um, email. Now, since I have been explaining you this, now it is time for you now to Teacher. Make your own. Yes. I have a dude. Why 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 exist why exist the difference? What difference? And, and you can use your faithfully when you faithfully. start with their sir or madame. But you mm -hmm. can use your sense sincerely. <laughs> Sincerely, when you use their miss. It is because one, it is a little bit, for example, it depends for the people that you are sending the message. If you are saying, for example, their, their, or madame, right? It goes, um, how can I say it? Maybe it is a person that you don't know. Okay. And that's why you are saying, dear sir or madam, you respect them. Yeah, but what's the meaning, madam? Madam. This is like um, in Spanish, we say madam also, right? <laughs> sí. Yes, in Spanish. Sí, no, es correcto. En español es madam. Yeah, we say madam. And in English, we use it in that way, too. We say, sir and madame. But sir in Spanish, uh, indeed, it is not an, an, it is a title that they used and also with uh, British and um, French people, they say, sir, right? Yes. Sir, because there is a lot of respect. Yes. And then, you, you, you you came in Spain and France, and so it's uh, all uh, important people who yeah. said sir and madame. Yeah? And madame, yes. And then, but it is the level of respect. Okay. It doesn't mean that the second one, you don't have like the respect, but you already know the last name because this is the last name. Whenever you say Ms. and then the, 
you're going to have, I cannot hold this. You are saying the last name, right? It means that you respect them, but at least in this case, you know the person, the name of them, the last name of the one that you are trying to answer in with this, right? So the first one, it is higher respect. Yes? Okay. And then if you just write down sincerely, well, that is something like normal, normal respect, <laughs> not in a higher way. Now it is time for you to write down your own email. Van a hacer el email con el reading. ¿Para qué están escribiendo? Okay. Uh, you need to include a quién se lo van a mandar, si es que tienen a quién mandárselo. And also, you are going to close todos esos aspectos. You are going to do it in one single email. And that is what you're going to do. Right? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to recreate them again. Rosie, you say that I can add you, right? Rosa Rivera, can I include you? Sí, you sí, yo le dije. Yes, right? yes. Sí. Okay. In the previous one, porque ya los tenía y ya los mandé así. Okay. Okay, Now, uh, Rosie, Remberto, Elsa, and Jessica Araceli. Okay. We have okay. the first one. The second one, um, René, not yet, ¿verdad? Porque no me le ha puesto oyente, pero creo que sí me escribí al inicio. Okay. Moses, Jessica, José, en Kenia. Ay, nos valdo. Okay, here we are going to be five. Okay, so let us go and work. Su propio email ya armadito con todos los aspectos, right? Go.
Okay. I'm writing. Jessica, vaya. Ah, Jessica, vaya. Jessica te está reclamando por, por el servicio de internet. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, yo. <ríe> vaya, ahorita se lo escribo, ahorita, ahorita voy. La despedida. Ajá, la despedida sería ahí como. La despedida. Fue lo último que estuvo poniendo ahí en, el, en la presentación. Ya, yo voy a tomar una captura. ¿Y el quedo pendiente, quedo pendiente de su respuesta. Pero no, tampoco hay salutation. Eh, ahorita está escribiendo, teacher. Ah, ok, 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 ok. I'm being impatient. Sorry. <risa> <risa> ok. Ya voy, permítanme. <risa>
Have you finished? Uh, maybe you? maybe one or two minutes more, please. Okay, okay, two more minutes. Thank you. Me, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, be ready. We have only one more minute and we come back. Lo hice que se quitara la, la, la gorra, pero era... De verdad que tenía la gorra puesta, pero yo había visto que no la tenía. 
Y sin querer dice que se la quitara. Here, behind me is the cocoa fur. It, it's magic. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, but that picture, it is, uh, is it uh, real? Or it is? Yes. Like yes, my... it's real. So... Ah. It, it that is where the... you work? Yes, uh, it's in... I had to visit the farm to, uh, every day, every day. Visit the farm and every day. Tomorrow, I am from Caluco. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, uh, that place, it is very famous because of the Sopa India, right? <laughs> chicken soup, chicken soup. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have here. Well, I, I think that I have gone like, twice when I was working there and then uh, someone um, told us okay let us go and eat there because of the famous soup and we went to eat there right so it is a delicious soup it is okay guys como nos fue con el correo okay let's see that emailed okay can i see them can i see them yes because sometimes when you just read maybe there are some little aspects okay okay Creo que ya lo dejaron a usted. <laughs> The volunteer Moses. <laughs> Pero se fue. Ok. Eh, eh, estaba dirigido a, a ti USB y la, dire este, la dirección Russell de email eh, con copia a Kenia Ayala, que no es Kenia, la, eh, no, nuestra compañera, sino otra Kenia. Ok. Eh, pues, <risa> también trabaja en Tigo, entonces. Okay. El suyo de, de no internet service, no. Eh, no tenía internet service y de saludo es de Good morning, received a cordial greeting for Jessica Carolina. Ella sí es nuestra compañera, estaba haciendo el reclamo. Y dice, I am greeting because I have that technical visit for this day because I don't have internet at home. I need them to send a technician immediately. A technician. A technician immediately. 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 In ese como el cuerpo de, del correo, lo más uh -huh. corto y lo más claro posible. Y luego uh -huh. la despedida de una milenia, como decía Kenia, dice, I, I will for a good uh, resolution, resolution of the resolution. case. Resolution. Uh -huh. of the case. Uh, have a great day. And, y ahí la, el número de contacto de Jessica Carolina, que es el número 555. Sí, en inglés eso es muy, muy común to find like five, 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 okay? And then she said, okay, in that, atentamente? Uh, yes, uh, no, no is correct, but yeah, really. Okay, but there are some others, there are some others because it goes more literal like, like we do it in Spanish, but. Eso en español. Mm -hmm. And what about in English? We have some others. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Bueno, lo, lo okay, okay. You you have to you have to look for it. Okay, but good, good. In a general way, it is it is well written. It is brief. No se han extendido. Es you need to go to the point, right? I have no service, so I want you to come here. And the second team. 
Le voy a compartir dicho, desde mi okay, celular. Rose, okay. 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 No sé si se ve, teacher. Allá la tercera. Ahí está. Ese es. Este es. Okay. ¿Ok? Sí, me ayudan a leer. <risa> ok, guys. Renberto o Elsa o Jessica. Cuando uno. Mire, hicieron lo mismo que con Mouses. Mire, nadie le contesta. <risa> okay. eh, bueno, voy a, voy a leer. Dear Mr. Smith, uh -huh. after greeting you, I am reading this email to request you to revise the activities I that deploy in your company and see the possibility I get of an increase in my salary. Your sincerely workers union team one. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> excellent. Excellent Rose. Excellent Rose. That's it. Okay. Uh, working union. Okay. Más. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. Now you have a, a now uh written um an email and in a very formal way. There is something that you included in your emails. And let me show you this. Where is it? We're going to talk a little bit, then we're going to work in the book directly. But before going there, I just want to uh, talk a little bit about the different, uh, um, how can we say, parts that an email has, right? For example, the first one I have, um, aquí le hace falta el dot, here. Yeah. Vamos a poner en red. Okay, this is just an example that we have for is as you can see here, I have my email in here. This is my email. But one thing is to know how to write it down. <clears throat> and another thing is to identify the different parts that the email has. Then I said the first one what I have, Claudia Sosa. That is the username. That is the username. And then I have another part that is this one. And that is the company or the provider. After I have this one, that is Edu. If you have pay attention, all the institutions that are related to education, all of them tienen el domain edu. Ese es el dominio, edu. Because it is in a general way. Todos los que sean um, schools, university, all the institutions that are related to education, this is going to be the top level domain. This is the way, the one, the way that we call it. Then we have, uh, as the last one, el famoso SV. SV, what is that? Country ending. That is the country ending. If this 
where an email that it is done in Mexico? ¿Cuál creen ustedes que van a ser el country ending? MX. MX. That's why I said Mexico, because they are very famous because of that. Mexico, right? But since we are in El Salvador, and then we say SV. And then we have some other symbols here, for example, el famoso arroba. But how do we pronounce el famoso arroba in English? At. 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 How do we pronounce el famoso punto in English? That. 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 That come. Y aquí me voy a detener just a little bit. ¿Por qué? Porque ese punto, ese símbolo gráfico that you have there has different meanings, has different spelling depending on the context. For example, I'm going to tell you. Ese puntito in this example sonará diferente. Ustedes van a pasar el curso con esta nota, vean. Yes. Do you like it? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay. I like it. <laughs> How do you read esa cantidad? 9.5. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. No, porque el contexto me cambió. Yes, but if um, I, when you use dot, you are talking about nails. When I'm using dot, it is because yes. I am talking about emails. Yes. But este, este puntito mismo gráfico, in mathematics, in numbers, I'm going to say it as point nine point five. That will be your final result. Y luego este mismo puntito sonará diferente if I say no. She was late. She was late. Esta representación gráfica también no fue, no puedo decir a eh, uh, Imagine that I am dictating you. Entonces le digo, okay, she was late. Point. I cannot say point. She was late. Dot. I cannot say that. ¿Hay otra manera? Yes. When we are spelling, when we are dictating, if it is something related to writing, we are going to say, Period. Period. So you see, I have that point and period. Three different ways to say that symbol. But the context is different. 
right? So the first thing that we need to do is to identify the context. So for our emails, all the time we are going to have dot. Then we have another one. That is this one. Underscore. Underscore. The famous. The famous. In Spanish. The famous. Guión bajo. That's it. This is what we have. This is underscore. Y luego tenemos ese guión medio que en realidad se llama hyphen. Hyphen. Ese hyphen, it is the middle. Right? So, y aquí tenemos ya nuestro correo. So, ya que logré identificar cada uno de las partes, what is the company or the provider, now that I have already um, checked about the domain, and also if it is a dot, a period, or a point, you know perfectly now how to use them. Now you are going to say your email. Todos me escriben su correo in the chat box, please. Write down your email in the correo chat box. Correo personal. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. ¿Quién dice quién reportó lluvia? Kevin. It is raining hard. I can hear you. Oh my God. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Kevin. Very hard. hard. Very hard. Y eso fue, quiero ver, a qué horas? 9.14. Hace 15 minutes, right? So, uh, is, it, is it raining yet? Yes, uh, I was thinking. Okay. Okay, so we have the different emails. Les dije personal porque aquí vamos a encontrar una variedad de emails. Okay, y vamos a comenzar entonces con Rosie. Rosie. Can you tell us, please, your email? Okay. R O S S I one seven R I B E R I at G M I A L dot C O M. <laughs> okay, Rosie. Yes. Me lo ha deletreado. Sí. But we are not going to spell the email. Okay, but good. <laughs> ¿Cómo vamos a decir el email? Si el email tiene nombres, pues los voy a leer, leer tal cual. For example, my email que dice claudia.sosa I'm going to say claudia point period or dot dot ok so I'm going to say claudia.sosa y luego at 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 us dot edu dot es B. Así es como yo ah, lo okay, veo. Okay, okay. 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 Now, let us read it again, Rosie. Okay. 
Rosy, 17, Rivera. But, but 17, how do you say 17 in English? <laughs> <laughs> okay, seven, Rivera. At 17, at gmail, 17, Rivera, at gmail.com. Okay, now it is better. Okay, thank, thank you, you Rosie. Now, Moses, yours. Okay, uh, my email is moitorres, E S, at gmail.com. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Carlina, can you read it? Loreni underscore nineteen nineteen no nineteen <laughs> no no e eighteen ah oh, yes no but it is not eighteen it is not eighteen está nada más a dieciocho eighty nine okay ajá Ah, hotmail. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Ajá. Hotmail. Hotmail. At. Dot, perdón. Ajá, com. ajá. Now it is better. Dot com. Thank you. Now let us listen to Osvaldo. My email is Osvaldo Garay22 at gmail.com. Oops. I'm not, dot not, com. Not, dot not com. Okay. Dot com. okay. <laughs> it's Spanglish. <laughs> yes. Okay, Jessica Araceli. J Araceli underscore dr at hotmail.com. Okay, that's it. Elsa. Elsa Magana. 60 at gmail.com. Okay, very good. Alexi, can you do it? No, I think that he is, it is still raining, okay? Alexi, that is for At. No, yo creo que se le fue el audio, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, Kerin. Thank you. Renberto. Renberto Calderón. At gmail.com. Piece of cake. Yes. <laughs> Just, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah is I have uh three emails, emails. So uh -huh. and, and I have uh, just personal, just uh for my job, and just for my uh private friends. So it's yeah, it's different. So and different and, and difficult to get all the information here in your mind. Mm, yes. If you ask me, I have. I have around seven or eight Gmails, Gmails, emails. Pero incluso tengo unos que ya ni me acuerdo si los abrí o no los abrí. I don't remember, okay? Por ahí están. But I have many of them. Okay, guys. Okay, so we are going to continue and we have here more information that is related to our book. Let's see. We're going to our book. We have something here. Okay. Here. Yeah. Here we continue because uh, we are um, getting information about those tips, remember? And this is what we have from the book. We have tips. Uh, that uh, are useful to make your emails more formal. Let's see. 
as we were saying, that we shouldn't write down, the, for example, in the subject, important, right? Or just a document. Because at the moment that you are going to look for them, o no les ha sucedido que de repente you really need an information que alguien le mandó through email y no lo encuentra? Yes. Yes. ¿Qué es lo primero que hacemos? If you have a lot of uh, emails, ¿qué hace usted? Para ver if you want that information in your computer. Uh, find for the username or or for the subject. Aha. Uh -huh. And then you type a donde usted quiera buscar en el correo que usted quiera, usted se va y, y digita el subject, right? Y se le despliegan todos los que tienen esa palabra relacionada. Right? Pero, y si usted al subject no le puso nada, eso le puso important y tiene como 20 correos que se llaman important. What do you have to do? What do you have to do? Mm -hmm. You have to write down. Yo, yo me estresaría porque serían muchos correos que leer y buscar. Y si es con urgencia, si es con urgencia lo que quiero. Ajá. No, so the importance. De nada. Of the yes. So we better, cuando vamos a mandar ese correo, Mejor lo titulamos bonito, que, que, que sean palabras claves, that you will find out this mail rápido, right? No que nos vamos a perder buscándolo, porque tengo todos los documentos con el mismo nombre. Oh, my God. That is something really difficult. And then it says number two, it is something that you have already used in your in your emails, it says include a polite salutation, the greeting. You did it. You said good morning. You said dear. Mm, let's see. Y luego vamos a utilizar el uh, to whom, right? It made concern. Number three, it says write your main point in the opening sentence. In the opening sentence, you need to go straight. Algunos dicen que no se ande ahí por los arbustos porque de repente when you start writing, se me enredó y al final no supo si pidió o no pidió lo que quería. ¿Por qué? Because you were writing too much. Como que si es una carta en realidad. And you need to be very clear and you need to be very brief. Pero eso no significa que el hecho de ser brief, usted va a obviar toda la salutation. Y usted dice, como tengo que ser brief, ni tan siquiera hola les voy a decir porque I need to go to the point. No. Right? So we need to understand when to do it, uh, when to include more vocabulary, different vocabulary for, um, or salutations, right? Or even our topics. When you write down the main point of the opening sentence, usted atrae la atención del lector. Y todo va unido. El título que usted ya le puso Va de acuerdo entonces al the main point that you have in the opening sentence? Okay, it goes. Then we have in number four, something that we have already said. Don't use capital letters. All lower cases, right? We need to use capital letters when they are required. 
but we cannot use them, all of them, in lowercase. That is just to have the extremes. O todo lo escriben en, 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 en mayúscula, o todo lo escriben en minúscula. How do you write? Do you respect capital and lower cases? Como dijo que no quería todo en capital, entonces lo voy a hacer todo en lower cases. No. We need to combine. We need to understand when to use the capital letters and when to use the lower case. And of course, to combine them. Luego aquí, ya vamos a ir a ese puntito, si tenemos tiempo. Dice, avoid abbreviations. Example, please. Nowadays, this is very famous. For example, that is what we have for please. But... Another abbreviation in your vocabulary that comes to your mind in this moment? Ninguna? No se les viene ninguna? No, teacher. No utilizan? Okay, for example, esto es más común hacerlo en, en WhatsApp, in what, the WhatsApp messages with your friends. No acortan palabras, for example, this one that it says, please. Yes, for example, PSY, que es para su información, de, en email, PSY. Okay. P S S I I para su información. P S Y. Yes, para su información. S In Spanish is P. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So it's uh, para el the, my manager is uh, is uh, is uh, como es, Okay. Uh, P S Y. Okay. P S Y. Yeah. In English, también um, is for your information. Okay, how do you? F Y I. F Y I. Okay. Yes, yes, for your information. And I have another one. What's up? Es el nombre del sindicato, que no, broma. <risa> no, ese era el nombre de ustedes en el equipo. <risa> ¿Cuál era? The Union of Workers. Workers Union. Ah, uh, Workers Unions. Bro what Rose is, is the president. Rose is the president. <risa> okay, so what is the meaning for ASAP? ASAP. We say ASAP. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. What does it mean in English? Tan pronto sea posible. Okay. Tan pronto sea posible. In Spanish, in English, it is as soon as possible. Right? So. We have another one. Uh -huh. En caso de, de, de también abreviar cuando uno quiere poner como una dirección en español, a veces me pasa, yo pongo S, D, A, D, punto. S, D, A, D. C, perdón, C, D, A, D. D, 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 A, D, punto. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Ciudad. 
Ah, okay, but, but that is, uh -huh. those are the abbreviations, as you said, for example, if you want to say boulevard or street, right? Yes, uh -huh. you, you use those abbreviations, right? But those ones you can use, boulevard, you can use for street, that is ST, you can use them because they are, the how can I say? Those are allowed, ah, okay, okay. those are formal written but these ones they are not formal when i say hey asap lol what is lol loud of loud okay <laughs> they, they have become very famous these ones right Estos son los que no se deben utilizar. Abbreviations such as Mr., Mrs., of course, yes, street, ST. Those ones are allowed, but not these abbreviations because they are really informal. Yes? Así que, for tomorrow, ah, no, for tomorrow, no. For Monday, me van a averiguar 10 abbreviations de estas informales. Ooh, if you look uh, for them in the web, van a encontrar muchísimas. Right? But I only need 10. Only 10 abbreviations. Informal abbreviations. Right? When you write it. Que no vamos a utilizar, but you need to understand it. What is the meaning of them? Ah, there is another one that is very famous. Aha. Uh -huh. This is very famous there in 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 the apps. Haven't you heard about this? No. DIY. DIY. DIY Do it no. yourself. Do it yourself. DIY. Right? Okay. These are related, for example, <clears throat> the DIYs are the ones. Let's see. When you see videos de cómo arreglar una mesa, pero para no llevarla al carpintero, entonces le dice DIY, do it yourself. Y le dan como some tips for you to fix your table. Or Hazlo tú mismo. that's it. Or if it is something, uh, a craft, I imagine having a piece of paper and then you need an envelope and to to like a gift card and then you say do it yourself or maybe uh, no tiene este aire acondicionado y alguien se le ocurrió y le dice hey diy do it yourself y se inventó cómo hacer el un, un ventilador que usted lo puede hacer right with, Con hielo. Recy with recycled materials yeah that is the thing <laughs> DIY. Yes? Okay. And then, well, we have here being polite. Of course, we have to be all the time writing or not writing an email. I cannot take this. Now, yes. Okay. Being polite remembers, right, please and thank you. Be brief. Lo que todos los dos equipos practicaron, you were really brief. You go to the point directly. Um, do you remember uh, los telegramas? Telegrams? ¿Alguien mandó telegramas? ¿Nobody? No, the old man. ¿Cómo que old man? I'm an old girl. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Cómo que solo los hombres oh, podían oh, mandar? 
<laughs> Be careful when you yes. say in this group. I, I, I sent, I sent. Why is it? Show me careful. <laughs> okay, you are giving him an advice. You practice. Hey, that is something good. Yeah, I'm telling you because the telegrams, what was the characteristics for the telegrams? Short. Very short. Very short porque le cobraban por cada letra, por cada palabra. Okay? Entonces, and it was expensive. Okay? Era muy caro de acuerdo a la época. Entonces, ¿cómo creen que iban los mensajes? ¿Creen ustedes que se escribían los artículos? Él, sí. la, no, eso se obviaban. Si querían que usted se viniera de donde usted estuviera lo más pronto posible, ¿cómo escribiría usted ese mensaje? Ven ya. Así. Urge. Ven ya. Tres palabras, eso es lo que usted iba a pagar. Yes. Aquí. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that's why I'm when I, it just came to my mind when I read Be Brief because we need to know how to send messages. El message llegue bien, no tan corto como esos telegrams, pero sí corto, claro. So, that is what we are practicing whenever we are writing emails. No cartas, right? Not those huge letters. And then, of course, uh, using the closing phrases like, aquí están, vean, best regards. Ese atentamente Elsie, right? Elsie, Elsie fue, ¿verdad? Okay. Best regards, or we can say regards, or looking forward to your comments. Okay? Ya se nos durmió Elsie también. Okay? No, and aquí estoy. Finally, okay. And then, finally, we have this. Add a signature. With the appropriate contact, your name, business address, and phone number. For the other person to contact you if they want to do it. Okay? In antes de mandarlo, this is mm -hmm. something important. Antes de darle send a ese email, ¿qué tendríamos que hacer? Ya vamos a terminar. This is the last one. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? Antes de darle enviar. Check. Edit and proof read before you send it. ¿No les ha pasado que lo vuelven a leer y han escrito mal una palabra, dos palabras? ¿No les ha pasado that when you reread it, una idea no se entiende? Yeah. Because you kept it in your mind but you couldn't express it in a written form. And then you say, oops, no, no, no quise decir eso. Okay, and then you start proofreading and editing your message. When you are sure, entonces le da send. Okay. Teacher, yes? you can for forget to the... Um... Los documentos... The files. The files. That it is also. You, you, it is. It is you say, also. You say I. I send a file to la 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 la, la and you forget. And, and you, you don't forget attach. Yes, you don't attach the files. You just send it, and no attachments. Okay. Yeah, that is a good advice. That is a good tip that we should include in here. Don't forget to attach the appropriate documents also and also the appropriate de repente 
tenemos dos o tres documents que les ponemos el mismo nombre y subimos el que no era. Sí. That it happens too, okay? Okay, so we have talked a lot about the emails. You have written one. Y para mañana, para mañana, for Monday, you have to have 10 different uh, abbreviations, informal abbreviation, guys. Okay. Here we go again. Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías. Elsa Magaña Umaña. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Saldana. Present. José Adilson <risa> Vázquez García. Está lista, Jessica. <risa> ok. José Adilson, ¿no estaba? Ok. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Ya sí. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Carlina Loreni Navarro. Present. Genia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Genia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonial. Adonai Flores Escobar. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza. Okay, guys. So that's all for this class. Thank you very much for being here and participating. And see you next Monday. Take care of yourself. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye. See you. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. 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 See you tomorrow, Noel. See you Monday. See you Monday. <laughs> yes.